Hello, fellow plant lovers and cat parents. Wait a minute, those two things don't go together. But hey, we exist. Do you have cats that love to destroy your plants? I certainly do. The types of their destruction can vary. They chew, dig, or simply play with your plants. Our cats, Bill and Monty, have done all the above. Today, I'm gonna share with you things I've done to prevent our cats from destroying and chewing our plants. Olive branch. Hey, wake up. You wanna eat this? If your cats like to treat your plants like a salad bar, we could try to figure out what makes them hungry for your plants. Your cats could be triggered by new things. You got a new tower, Monty. Are you happy? First things first, we know that cats are territorial. Our cat Monty, for example, usually doesn't chew plants. He likes to sniff them most of the times. But when he does chew on plants, I realize, is when I introduce a new element to his environment. Brand new plants, rearranging furniture, or new growth that sticks far out will trigger his chewing. It's his way of checking them out. If your cat is like Monty, you're in luck because he chew for a little bit and then loses interest. Okay, what if they chew in certain parts of the house? By now, you've accepted that your house belongs to your cats, not you. But there are certain parts of your house that have higher value to your cats than others. Usually high perches like their cat towers, hammocks, inverted mattresses, your back, your shoulders, trash cans, boxes, box on the floor, just the floor, 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 floor. <clears throat> yeah. Plants in these areas will often see more damage. Duh, right? But really, Bill and Monty kept chewing on the plants in our bay windows. Yum, yum, yum. I moved the same plants to a corner of our house with less traffic, and they stopped messing. With one, but not the others. Hmm, I'm noticing something here. If you notice they prefer certain plants, you will have to keep those away. This will vary by each cat. Our cats, thankfully, do have strong preferences. They usually don't mess with thick, tough, or succulent plants like hoyas and jungle cacti. Bill loves calatheas, however. New growth on my calatheas is his favorite, so I can leave my tough or succulent plants out and worry only about guarding the tender plants. You can also try to determine if your cats are bored or stressed. Changes to their environment can cause stress, like you go on vacation, you get a new pet, or do a renovation in the house. Or perhaps they have a medical condition. Allergy trial. To see improvements, you will have to solve the underlying issue. Also, a scheduled playtime will reduce boredom and stress in our kitties. Happy kitties, happy plants. Let me address the elephant in the room, grass-feeding bunny cats. If you have one of these bunny cats, which by the way our bill is towards ferns and calatheas, you have probably have heard of or tried below methods. Sticky tape method. Cats hate sticky stuff on their paws, so you can have double-sided tape around your plants. But this lasts about a week and may leave goo on your surface. Aluminum foil method. Apparently, cats hate the sound and texture of it. Meh, it didn't work for me. Orange peel method and lemon juice spray method worked well for about a couple of days. As soon as the smell wears out, it's game for them. What did work for me was one of these. These kept our kitties away. Make sure to get a scent they hate. Oh no! Ah! And put it next to your plant. <laughs> this should keep its scent for a good while. If that doesn't work, I just separate the plants in a room. Well, just put them high up on the wall. That will do it. Since bunny kitties need their daily grass intake, we buy them cat grass at the grocery store. Please like and subscribe! Okay, now that we've discussed the chewing problem, what about digging? This is super easy. I get these river pebbles from Lowe's landscape section and put them on the soil. The only downside of this is that it's a bit more cumbersome to check the moisture in the soil with your finger, but this method really works. What's your strategy on protecting your plants from your cats? What's worked and what's not? Tell me in the comment section below. Thank you for watching!